What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for Golden Nugget Book Review. And today I'm gonna to talk about this book that I'm reading. It's called The, uh, the Idiot Brain by Dean Burnett. So this is a really interesting read because it's written by a, uh, well Dean Burnett, he's the, that's the name of the author. He's a uh, neuroscientist, right? So in this book, he, he talks about the brain and how essentially the brain is fallible, right? So that the brain isn't perfect. As much as we like to think that, oh, it's the most amazing thing, we don't completely understand it, and, and so on and so on, actually, we, we understand quite a bit about how it works now. Uh, of course, there's still some things like we are not sure why it does what it does, but it's essentially, um, how do you say it? not perfect right there's a lot of things uh that it does that's wrong um and this is this has to do with evolu evolutionary mismatch right this is something evolutionary mismatch is a term coined by another author in another book i'll i'll, I'll get back to that book at one point i just can't uh, think of it now so anyways now here's here's what i want here's the takeaway for today's video okay so the brain has there's two parts to the brain, or there's a lot of parts to the brain, but let's just talk about these two parts. So there's the neocortex, okay, so which is the, the front of the brain, okay, neo meaning new, and then there's the, uh, the reptilian brain, which is essentially the midbrain, you know, somewhere in the middle here, and the brainstem. So now the way the, the brain uh, evolved is that it was from the back to the front. That's why the front is the, actually the new part. So what you have now, those two, those two parts of the brain, so the front and the back, let's say, right, are, um, are its own parts. So it's, it's like having two people working in an office together, okay, and who don't really get along, right? So the old brain, the, the reptilian brain, the one that, you know, that's been there forever, okay, is, is like the employee uh, who's, who's uh, the veteran, the one who has a lot of experience and who's very set in his ways, thinks he's always right, <clears throat> and he's done things uh, forever a certain way, and he's not going to change. Whereas the neocortex is the new is the new kid on the block, who's much more uh, has much more education, much more techy and stuff like that, but doesn't have uh, but likes to micromanage, right? So, and these two these two parts of the brain often conflict, right? So that's why we, we, we make a lot of uh, funny decisions sometimes, right? That, that don't make sense. It's because these two parts are, are, are a lot of times in conflict. And back in the day, like the, the reptilian brain was what kept us going, kept us alive as a species and all that. Uh, but then as we evolved, you know, society, it, it all went too fast. And then, well, hey, you know, now like, uh, like a lot of the stuff that the reptilian brain uh, its instincts that it has that helped us survive until now aren't really useful for uh, everyday life now in, in society because we don't need to be, uh, you know, worrying about um, hunting and, and uh, food and, and this and that. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. This one, I'm cutting it a little bit short because that's all I have to say now. There's a lot of interesting things in this book. I, I, I recommend it. I, I find it fascinating to understand how the body works, but I'm also a personal trainer, so... It's, it's kind of my thing. So anyways, uh, three minutes and, well, and something, right? <clears throat> and that's what I do in this channel. So I just, you know, talk about books I'm reading and then I share it with you guys under five minutes. And I hope that was interesting. I find it really interesting. I recommend this book. It's, it's, it's a very easy read too. So the author actually writes in a way that's, that's, that's humorous and at the same time, pretty simple to understand. He makes it really simple, uh, which can be a very complicated subject and dry subject, uh, you know, when it comes to the science brain and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, done.